Hey guys, I'm Madzify. Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you this compact iron farm tutorial that produces 350 iron per hour. It's really simple to make, and this farm can be made underground as well. And here's an example of mine on the Scourcraft server. This farm here produces 700 iron per hour with two modules. But without any further ado, I think it's time to get into the tutorial. These are the resources you are going to need. You want to start by digging a 9x9 hole. So you start by 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and that'll be 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's 9. And then you want to clear out this area. Then you want to grab your fence gates and go to the middle of the 9x9 hole. So here it is right here, and you want to place a square all around with, with oak gates like so, and then you want to open all the gates. Now most of you are doing this in survival, so you want to go ahead and make an infinite water source. And there's your infinite water source. And you want to go around and add four waters to the, each corner of the 9x9 hole that you just dug. And that should look something like that. Now you want to grab your temporary blocks, and you want to jump up and go one, two, three, and then place your composter. And then you can remove the temporary blocks. Now you want to build a staircase up to the composter, like so all the way and then you want to go like this place one block here two up and then you want to grab one of your trap doors and place it like so then you can remove your temporary blocks to this point here the next step is you want to grab your temporary blocks come across like so and you want to come one two three four and then you want to place your beds like so one on the sides and also the same to this side here and then you can remove these temporary blocks here Then you want to pillar up so you can get on top of the beds and then you want to place a block like so and then you want to grab your glass come three one on the side and then you want to jump down grab your temporary blocks again place one temporary block there place two glass and do the same to this side here now you want to place temporary blocks here, here, and then put a slab there, put another temporary block here, and put a slab on top of that and remove your temporary blocks. Now the villager home is ready to put your villagers in. And now if you're in survival, you can use your rails to push the villagers up into the box up there. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to spawn them in with the villager spawn eggs. Here is a simple technique you can use with the rails and the minecart. Now you want to build a staircase down like so. Now you want to place three temporary blocks like so. Then you'll grab another trap door and put it like so. Before it goes night though, we want to place our roof down so the zombie doesn't burn when it becomes morning. So now what we want to do is we want to build up flush, add two more blocks and then place a slab like so. And then we want to have a seven by eight roof. Now you're ready to get your zombie in place, so it's now time to wait till night. Now that you've got your zombie here, you want to lure him up the stairs. You want to jump across here, wait for him to come up and he will start bouncing. Quickly lower him down and switch it like that. And he should have been, have been locked in there, and he has. So now your zombie is ready to go and you put your name tag on him like so. Now you want to place a button on your trap door and you can remove your scaffold. As you can see, the iron golem cannot reach the zombie. The next thing you want to do is light up the surrounding area so no other mobs can spawn during the night. This is if you're building it above ground. If underground, you want to just light up the surrounding area so no mobs can spawn other than the iron golems. Another reason to light up the spawn area around the farm is so that iron golems do not chase down other mobs and they actually go for the zombie that's in the composter. So I recommend you 
highly light this area around the farm if it's not underground. Now it's time to do the pickup system. What you want to do is you want to place a block above that gate right there so the iron golems will just butt into it and they won't fall down when you're digging. You want to dig a three times three. 17 deep from this point here. Now that you've dug 17 deep, you want to place a hopper here. You want to place a sign here, another sign here, and then you want to go a sign there, a sign there, and then all around. So one block to the left of the hopper, one block high, and then place two signs in front of each other, and then basically in a cross. And then you want to place the water here to circulate the iron. As you can see, if I dropped a block here, it will circulate into the hopper below. Then you want to add your lava, which you can simply do by digging out a block here and going shift. And there is your lava point right here. Now that that's all done, what you want to do is you want to fly it with your rockets like this. And you want to destroy this block right here. And as you can see, the iron farm is fully functional. It pushes it to that point and you'll collect all the iron below. Now you want to dig to your hopper. Now you can get your chests ready. Place like this. Place chest here. Oh, sorry. Place like that. And you want to grab your hopper, which I lost. You should have a hopper spare. And then you place it like so. And as you can see, the iron is going in already. And what you can do if you want to see a viewing area, quickly go like that. And there's your viewing area of the iron golems. You can decorate this however you want and you can also add a better storage. This will fill up quite quickly, but if you do AFK overnight, it should not fill up both chests. So you have to just clear it out every day. So after one hour, I've got a total of 420 iron and a total of 141 poppies. As you can see, it's going up right now as we speak. So that is a highly efficient farm. However, the spawns, the rates do kind of drop a little bit to around that 350 mark uh, every hour after that kind of thing. It settles down a little bit. Your iron farm is now complete and ready to go. Enjoy the 350 iron per hour. Here's some other videos you can enjoy. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.